We're going to start with light 70 denier thread and tie that in right behind the bead and run it all the way back to the bend in the hook. Now we have some olive dyed pheasant tail. We're going to tie that in for a tail. I cut out the piece where I measured this, but you want the tail to be the same length as the shank of the hook or the straight part of the hook. Now we're going to tie in some light or medium olive wire Now you're going to wrap your wire three quarters of the way up the hook shank, tie it off, helicopter it and break it off. Now if you get little gaps between your wraps of wire, I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, I've been tying these for I don't know three years and fishing them three years and I have noticed that any difference whether you leave a gap there or not so I wouldn't worry about it too much I usually tie and get them really close together in a bigger hook but this is a really small fly What we have here is a piece of nymph skin. You want the shiny part up. Well, actually you want to tie the doll part up so when you fold it over the shiny part it'll be up. And it's about an eighth inch wide. Okay, what we got next is extra small lively legs. Okay, and the olive color. Now, the only place I know you can find these is on the olive lively leg or the lively leg site, which is in the description in this video below. So go check them out, get yourself some of these. These things are deadly. These flies are deadly with tied in with these legs. Okay, you want to tie, start tying these in with the front legs as close to that bead as you can. Because you're going to cut that rubber tab off later. So you're going to tie that in as close to them front legs. Go behind the front legs all the way back to the second set of legs. You're going to tie in right behind the, la the second set of legs. And then you're going to end up cutting the front tab off and the back set of legs. Okay, you pull up on the front tab and cut as close as you can. Stretch her out, cut her close. Then you take the back legs, stretch them up, cut them off as close as you can. 
So I took a dark or olive dubbing, rabbit dubbing with the guard hairs in it. And I took some flash brown, light brown flash dubbing and mixed them together for the thorax of this fly. Okay, when dubbing this fly, you don't you want a really thin, thin noodle. You don't want the all them hairs sticking out way past the legs. You can't see the legs, so dub it pretty lightly, and then dub this right up, right behind the bead. Now you can bend that nymph skin over, and tie that down right behind the bead, and when you cut that off, if you leave a little tab of the nymph skin there, it don't matter. Kind of looks like another shell. Pretty neat. If you're new to fly tying or just a beginner fly tire and you haven't any problems with this fly, just back the tape the video back up. And remember, if your fly doesn't look perfect, don't throw it away. It could be the best fly in your box. And you might be upset you only had one. Okay, thank you Long Riders for being here on another amazing tying. Make sure you subscribe because these flies are unique to here. You can find them anywhere else. I make classic dubbing. I make these classic or different materials than most. So make sure you're here. Subscribe. And go check out these other videos right above us here, you know, above this video. Have a good day.